Hey guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you these little rope braid pigtails that you see right here. I love how these look. After you take them out, you get these beautiful heatless curls, so I will show that to you. Show you how to do it step by step, beginner friendly. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and redo one side. I've had these in all day, it's like four o'clock now. Um, so I'm gonna show you what these look like when you unravel them, like if you were to have them in all day and then take them out the next day. So you get just this beautiful, like beach waves. Isn't this so pretty? I love the way this looks. Literally looks like you use like one of those three clamp irons. So cute. And I think this hairstyle is just adorable to wear for any season, falls coming up. It's just, it would be so cute with sweaters and you know, all that cute fall stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. Okay, so if you do not know how to rope braid, we're gonna start there. If you know how to rope braid, you can fast forward a little bit and I'll teach you how to do the top part. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and just show you real quick how to do a rope braid. So you're gonna split your hair into two sections. I'm gonna take my inside section right here I'm gonna put, twist it towards my face. So here's my face, I'm twisting it this way. And I'm just gonna twist it around my finger towards my face, like that. Then all I'm gonna do is take my inside section, cross it over my back. You do the same thing, twist it towards your face, take my inside section, cross it over the back. And then you just keep going. So. Take that inside section, the section closest to my face, twist it in the direction of my face, and cross it over that back section. Twist it towards my face, whoops. Cross it over the back. Twist it towards my face, cross it over the back. And you just do this all the way down. So this is what a rope braid looks like. So if I were to tie it off, it would stay in place like this one over here. Like I said, I've had this in like eight hours so far, hasn't budged. All right, so we are gonna pick up a section at the top of our head, split it into two. We're repeating the same steps that we just did, that I just showed you. So I'm just gonna twist it towards my face and I'm gonna cross it over this back section here. Then I'm just gonna pick up a section of hair right beneath it, add it in, smooth it out, twist it towards my face, cross it over that back section, and we're twisting it really tight. Again, picking up hair right beneath it and kind of picking up hair towards the back of my head too. Twisting it towards my face, crossing it over my back section, tying it tight. Grabbing a section of hair, underneath it, adding it in, smoothing it out, twisting it towards my face, crossing it over the back section. Picking up a section right underneath, adding it in, twisting it towards my face, crossing it over the back. Add in a section of hair to the front, twisting it towards my face, Crossing it over the back. And I like to add in all of my hair by the time I reach the bottom of my ear because once I go past my ear, then it just kind of gets droopy right here. We don't like that. So I'm gonna try to pick up a little bit bigger of sections so I can make sure I add all of it in in time. So I just picked up hair, twisted towards my face, crossed it over the back. Picked up hair, added it in, twisted it towards my face, crossed it over the back. And then this will be my last section. So I'm just adding it in. You can see I've reached the bottom of my air, ear. Twist it towards my face, cross it over the back. Now, you just do the same thing. If you want it to be like extra, extra, extra secure, it's not gonna unravel all day, you can twist both sections towards your face, but still cross the front over the back. Twist both sections towards your face, cross the front over the back, or, you don't have to. Um, I just find it's a little bit more secure if I'm twisting them both in the same direction. I don't feel the need to do that up here because it's secure enough, but down here, sometimes. 
So if you don't want to do that, you can just twist the front section towards your face and you don't have to twist the back, but it's personal preference really. Um, so I twist both sections towards my face, crossing the front over the back all the way down. And you can see once you get the hang of it, you just really go real fast and it takes like two seconds to do. So once I tie this off, it's not gonna unravel, it's gonna be super secure. Okay, so you can see here, I'm gonna tie it. It's not gonna unravel. It's gonna stay literally all day until I take it out. Um, but I think these are so cute, I love them so much. So I'm gonna show them to you up close. Again, you saw in the beginning what it looks like when I take them out. It gives me like beautiful, magical mermaid waves that are just so beautiful and will last all day. If you have a hard time with your hair, keeping heatless curls, try a non-crunchy mousse, try a styling cream. Um, everyone's hair is different, so you just kind of have to play around with what product works best with your hair type. So I'm gonna shut up and show you guys this hairstyle. I do want to show you guys, I have a really hard time parting my hair in the back. And I recently got a mirror that you can see right here. Oh, oh there we go. And it extends out like this. And I can flip it. And then I can see the back of my head and it is so helpful. Oh, so I would look like this. And I can see the back of my head. I can make my part. I don't know if anyone has space for something like this, but if you do, it is really stinking handy. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. What do you have? Oh my goodness, lots of fruit snacks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.